Buenos días, raza. Miren, el Wild One, uno de los babies, está de mordelón. Good morning, everybody. Somebody wanted to see the babies. And I took one out, and uh, she's biting me. She doesn't want to calm down. She's big already. And, of course, she wants to just bite and bite and bite. I'm not going to let her go. I'm holding her kind of tight here because she already bit my thumb over here. But I'm going to put her back. I already put her back porque me quería morder. <laughs> she did bite my thumb right here. But that's okay. Somebody wanted to see the babies, and it's like, oh, there's a reason why I don't um, get the babies. And uh, one of the reasons is because they bite. Huh? And my sister's like, but you were supposed to tame them. I'm like, I'm not going to be grabbing little birds that want to bite me. They're okay in the cage. <laughs> Pero, I hope your day started off with a nice cup of coffee and a donut on the side. Hi, everybody. I was showing this shirt because it says Miami. I want to thank Cesar Damaso for giving me this shirt. As a reminder of his 2024 trip to see his family in Miami. Um, I think he, he went on a trip at the end of... 2023 20, and it came into 2024 then we met in vegas and we had a nice trip in vegas with cesar damaso so i want to thank him pero yo quiero cafecear con ustedes i want to gossip with you i don't know if any of you all uh the probably the spanish-speaking people did Grow up with El Chavo del Ocho. <laughs> All these influencers in South Texas are worse than that show. Let me tell you. Doña Florinda on that show. Cada rato le decía Kiko, no te juntes con la chusma, no te juntes con la chusma. <laughs> and of course, you know, kids, Kiko wouldn't listen to his mom. And he was always hanging around with a trash boy who was Chavo del Ocho and La Chilindrina, which was Don Ramon's daughter. And it's funny because they were always fighting and they were always getting into trouble. But these influencers are so bad, they don't have any content. And the content that they do create causes static just for everybody. Then they want to create pages. I mean, hey, these are not computer nerds like me. I'll at least admit that I'm a computer, you know, ignorant person. But these are uh, not ignorant people as far as how to use a computer and how to do petty stuff with it. And I'm saying petty as a nice word. Then they want to hide and create pages because you know what? You can put any name you want on any email you want and it's not going to matter. I have a family group phones for T-Mobile. What does that mean? That means that I have more than four lines. I probably have around eight or nine lines on my family group. My family group includes people like my ex-husband. Why? Because he's part of my daughter's family and home over there, far away. <laughs> so he's part of a family plan T-Mobile phone group. So these phone groups can hold a lot of lines. At ten dollars a line. Of course, the phones are over a thousand. T-Mobile doesn't give you phones anymore. But these creators of petty content here in the south of Texas create these lines with false names. 
you know. Then they want to say, it's not my line. It's not my line. Well, I'm pretty sure that if the police department was doing their job, yes, we're talking about the police department again. And that includes all the towns here in South Texas, not just the Raymondville Police Department, not just the ones in Mercedes, not just the ones in Harlingen. Those are the main ones that don't do their job. Because if they really wanted to find an IP address or an internet address, all they have to do is go to that phone company and find out who has that phone number. Because the name on the account for that page doesn't necessarily have to match the name on the phone. Then they want to say for months, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. But then they get into these group chats. This is what's going on in South Texas, buddies. <laughs> and I don't care who knows it. My, my page is seen all over the, the world, trust me. It doesn't matter. And it, if it's happening in South Texas, it's probably ha happening to you where you're creating content and these haters keep coming in and putting smack and it doesn't matter to them because they're not even using their names. In TikTok, it happens a lot where you get a letter for the profile and you don't see a page, page uh, picture. Or if you see a picture, it's some actor. Lee Min Ho has like 20,000 pages on TikTok. You don't even know which one is his. Um, what's that other guy, Reeb's name? Uh, the Prince of, Bu of Dubai has like a thousand pages. <laughs> Ham dam. <laughs> so if the police was actually doing their job, all they have to do is go to that address, email address, and they can locate the person. But let's go back to why I'm saying Doña Florinda and Kiko. Because they keep getting into these group chats. Then somebody says something and somebody in that group chat doesn't like it and they get all mad. They're all upset. Oh boy, they're upset. And they start calling out what each other's doing. Then they start saying, well, I'm going to say that you're running this page. No, you're running this page. No, you're running this page. And all of their little <clears throat> trapitos, like they say in Spanish, are coming out of the closet. Or their skeletons, like they say in English, are coming out of the closet. Because somebody got mad in a group chat. And that's one of the reasons that I'm not in any group chat. <laughs> These people are too funny. Then they want to say, oh, well, I'm just going to say that I own that page because I don't want nobody to be holding something over my head. But for months, you've been allowing people to say that other people own the page as long as it wasn't something that happened to you or your family. And it's the same thing that I say about the Raymondville Police Department. As long as it's not members of their family, they don't care. Judge Cordova says anything that is said is freedom of speech. As long as it's not his family that's being talked about, it's freedom of speech. We'll just stick to Judge Cordova and his little phrase uh, and leave the family out of it. But when you are told over and over at Rover, don't get into these group chats because somebody's going to be upset and you don't listen. That has been something that's been going on with children since the beginning of time. But somebody's going to learn their lesson. I hope it's not a hard lesson to learn. And I hope that the police start doing their job. As long as they're not. I'll be right here watching them. <laughs> Y'all have a nice day.